Hey everyone, today in the show we're going to be reviewing the Jeffree Star Liquid Frosts and the Blood Sugar Palette. Look, I know I'm late. I know I'm very, very late. But the thing is, shipping internationally takes a while and I didn't realise Beauty Bay was going to stock the Liquid Frost in the UK because they didn't make any announcement about it. So I'd already bought my Liquid Frost by the time Beauty Bay had announced that they were going to stock it. So I was just like, well, I might as well wait for the international shipment. It only took four days the last time. It only just arrived. So. I'm sorry I'm late, but it's here. But before we continue, why don't you like hit that subscribe button down below? Like, you're new here, you've probably watched two or three of my videos, or if you keep coming back, then you definitely should subscribe, and then you'll just know when I upload, and it helps us all out, and we get to get to know each other. You know, I get to see your face, you get to see mine. Well, I don't get to see your face, but you know, you'll get to see mine and learn how I did this to my face, so you might as well subscribe. So in this review, I'm going to go over sort of like what I'm expecting and initial impressions. Then I'm going to go over final thoughts and then I will get into sort of my thoughts on the brand of Jeffree Star Cosmetics as a whole. The Liquid Frosts are obviously the more recent launch. And you know, some people like to glow for the gods. Some people like to glow greater than the gods. And me, well, I'm just here for a good time. And honestly, right now I'm feeling very attacked. So we're going to start by going in with the Girl On Gold Flake Primer. I've said it time and time again in my videos, this primer is so good if you just want to make sure your foundation is not going to move all day. Next we're going in with the Air Flash by Dior. Recently I've just been living my best anime boy life, so I really just want very much blurred pores. So um. I think I'm running out of this. I don't really use much of this foundation, I won't lie. I only use enough to like blur the pores around the central area um, and sort of help get rid of discoloration. But like I've said in the past, this foundation really doesn't have much coverage. Um, so if your goal is to help with discoloration or whatever, there's better out there. So next is obviously foundation. Like always, I'm going to use the Armani Luminous Silk. But to mix in with the foundation, we're going to go in with the Jeffree Star Liquid Frost. I have two colours, Frostbite and Frozen Peach. So I think we're going to mix in Frostbite with the foundation. So once you open up the unit carton, you get a little bottle that looks something like this, which is very, very nice. I really like this. It's... um very high quality plastic. It's not glass like this, but you know, it doesn't need to be glass to work. So what we're going to do is take some of the foundation on the back of my hand. And normally I use about two pumps of foundation, so I guess we'll go with that today. Oh, this is insane. Okay. Uh, and I guess, oh, that feels like a lot. Okay. It comes out um, a lot more rapidly than you would expect, but that's what we've got. I'm just going to mix it in the back of my hand with my blending sponge and this will just help to give us a nice hopefully very luminous look it has lightened the foundation a little bit so maybe if i had used a different color it well, that wouldn't have happened it's giving us a slight metallic look to the foundation which was the goal so let's go in But if it's too metallic, what I'll do is I will just go in again with some foundation on its own, which I think is what I'm going to do because this is looking a little bit crazy. So um, yeah, I think we'll go in with some foundation on its own after this just to help balance things out because at the moment I'm looking um, dusty is how I would describe it. <laughs> This is the foundation on its own. But I think if I used a different foundation, but that definitely did what I wanted it to do. I just, I used a little bit too much liquid frost. So just balancing things out here. Okay, yeah. And after we've got that second coat of just foundation on its own, we're not looking as dusty. Um, Things are definitely looking a lot more even. So this is a look we've got going on right now, but once I'm powdered and everything, it will tone things down a bit. But I've got to say, 
comparatively speaking, I've done this before and I've looked a lot more dusty before powder. So this is good if you just want like to only put on liquid. I think if you used less than I used, you could get away with this. For concealer, we're gonna be going in with Tarte Shape Tape, the classic, the reliable, the faithful. Cause I've been like feeling my anime boy fantasy since I did that thin look, we are actually gonna take this right down to the cupid's bow just like we did in the adventure time look because i just really liked how that look came out and i sort of want to almost recreate that but like put a slight variation on it today i guess at least with the base definitely not with the eyeshadow the eyeshadow we're gonna go in a very different direction and like i did with the adventure time look all i'm doing is taking it slightly up onto the nose bridge to give the illusion of a smaller nose we're not bothering doing the contouring or anything at the, down the nose at this point. And then we're gonna go along the jaw, on the chin, and the forehead. Although, that being said, the forehead is definitely sparkling on its own enough. I don't think it needs that much of a highlight, uh, but we're giving it some. And um, we're gonna blend out the chin right away because I actually don't like having that prominent of a chin and because the forehead's so sparkly we're blending that out right away as well but the other two we're gonna leave to set for a moment so um today we are drinking Shea Red Bull and we're drinking Shea Red Bull because I am um, well it's it's the second half of the year and a lot of you might not know this about me but from September through to the following six months from September I can't do maths um, I turn into a vampire person, so I stay up at night and sleep during the day. And then once it gets to the summer months again, I'm like up during the day living my flower boy life. So I won't lie, I was expecting this to sort of almost dampen down the sheen from the glitter or the sparkle from the liquid frost. Um, hasn't really done that at all, which is a really good thing. Um, yeah, I was almost going into this expecting to say, okay, the concealer dampened that down, but that's fine because we can just apply more in the foundation or more in the regular highlight stage. But no, we, I won't be saying that because it's just not true. <laughs> My concealer I'm noticing is clumbing up a little bit around this side. It just took a second longer to blend than usual. It's not that big of a deal. Sometimes it does that could just be the two formulas not really meshing together that well, but I don't think that will have any effects on longevity. Still looking very luminous, so um, let's powder this down. The powder we're going in with is the Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder. I love this powder. If you haven't used this powder yet, get yourself some, treat yourself. You need this powder in your life. It comes with like a really nice filter, so you can just stick some in here and be done with it. So here's the thing though, I do not bake. Um, I know that might be a little bit controversial, especially if you're new here. The reason is I am very pale. I'm near the color white. Um, I am the palest person I have ever met. I'm already as light as I'm going to get with the concealer. I just, baking does not make a difference on my skin. It doesn't do much for me. It just, it, it doesn't do anything. So there's like no point in me doing it. Um, but if you like baking, that's fine, because you're probably deeper skin tone than me. I've never met anyone as pale as me. Seen people as pale as me, but never met them. And when I take off this powder, I always sweep up, just to try and get some coverage in the areas we don't put powder on. Just remember, always sweep up. It's better for your skin, and it's gonna just make things look just a lot more smooth and just a lot more airbrushed than if you swept down. I don't know why it does it, it just does it. It's probably some sciencey reason. Okay, I sped through my eyebrows real quickly because they weren't really relevant to this video, but I've got all the products that I use in the description down below. So for the eyeshadow palette, we are going in with the Blood Sugar palette by Jeffree Star. If we take it out of this, akin to a VHS tape, we have the palette itself. Then inside the palette, we have 18 shades. Now these are various reds and purples, and all of my friends, when this palette was announced, they messaged me, with this palette because they know I love red eyeshadows, I love purple eyeshadows. I never get to wear them, so I was actually excited for this palette and then it was always out of stock and I was like, what the hell is going on? Why can't I get this palette? Why does the universe want to separate me from this palette? 
For eyeshadow primer, we're gonna go in with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I do want to like start experimenting with eyeshadow primers, so if you guys can recommend one, please let me know in the comments down below, because I love the anti-aging eyeshadow primer potion from Urban Decay. I really love it. I think it's the best eyeshadow primer out there, but if you guys know of anything else that you want me to try, let me know and I will. So I think our base shadow naturally is gonna have to be this glucose color. So we're literally gonna coat the lids in glucose. I just brought you guys in a bit more so you can see what's going on a bit better. So like I said, we are currently packing the eye with glucose. We're gonna go right up onto the brow bone as well and even take it onto the outer perimeter of the eye. So far, I really like this glucose color. It sort of reminds me of Taco from Sugar Pill in terms of feel. I really like Taco. That's like normally my go-to white eyeshadow. Um, you guys saw me try it out for the first time a few weeks ago. So yeah, if I need a white eyeshadow, normally I use Taco, but now I have glucose. Before that, I used this like Urban Decay one that was in the full spectrum palette. Uh, I don't think it had a name. I think it was just a white eyeshadow. And I really didn't like that one, so um, I like this one. Next, we're going in with Cherry Soda here, and we're gonna take it through our crease. Oh, wow. Okay, I, you guys know I hate this phrase, so pigmented, because I think buildability is just as important as pigment. Um, this is very pigmented, so we're almost gonna like flick it out as if it's a wing here. Just... I didn't even need that second coat. It was like reflex. I did, I did that by reflex and we really just didn't need it. And same with this other side. A few of you have commented on this in the past uh, that I do a lot of my eyeshadow with my eyes open and it's just sort of the way I learned to do eyeshadow. Okay, and you see where uh, Cherry Soda's brought itself down there? Yeah, that was an accident, so we're going to do that on the other eye to match. Just join it up with the wing, if anything. Then we're going to go in with this fresh meat colour, and we're going to use this on the outer part of the eye. And remember, we don't need to worry about blending at this point. You've, you've got a lot of life to live and can't spend that much of it worrying about blending. This has like a slight metallic effect to it. Is it just me or just... This isn't a shimmer, is it? No, this is a matte. It's going on like kind of metallic. That's insane. I love this. It's like insane. It's going on metallic. I wouldn't call this like fresh meat. I'd call it like fresh rust. You know when rust is like still slightly metallic looking or you have like a good metal but it's a rusted color so it's got like that metal shine to it that's how i would describe the shade i really like it <laughs> that being said this metallic effect could easily be coming from the liquid frost we used on our skin next we're going to go in with cavity and we're gonna plunk that right on the inner corner here and just sort of smoke that out to join up with everything else. Then we're gonna use our pinky on this sweetener color. There we go, I like that. Same with this side. really like that. Just gives the inner corner just a slight bit of pop. Then we're going back into Cherry Soda. And we're going to take it right from this wing we made and go right along our lower lash line here. And remember, when you think you're done, just add a little bit more. So I guess I can say what my goal is word-wise with this particular look. The idea I had in my mind was sort of like fairy at the hospital, they're very sick and they're a fairy but also a vampire. And I feel like that's the look I'm getting. 
next we're going to take the sugarcane color we're just going to go along the bottom here help smoke this out a bit Same with this eye. Then we're going to go back into glucose one more time. We're going to blend out the brow bone a bit and right around the outer edges of this look. And we can even take it on the inside here because it is such an intense look. Normally I wouldn't take a color like glucose on the inside here but I think like I said because it is such an intense look we can kind of get away with it it'll just help to blend everything out so I'm gonna give my final thoughts on this palette while I'm still doing this I really like this palette I think this palette is fantastic it does exactly what it says it gives me a blood sugar look like my goal was to look like a sick fairy which hello what could be more blood sugar than a sick fairy and i feel like that's exactly what i've got but don't go thinking that eye look is done just yet next we're going in with drug lord liquid lipstick from jeffree star cosmetics but we will not be using it for our lips we are actually going to use it as eyeliner so i like to take the smallest winged brush i own try my best not to fuck things up i need to get right into my mirror so if you don't see me do this i'm sorry There, and I didn't speak much while I was doing it, but we're just gonna go for a regular cat eye shape. You know, a shape that says, I'm enjoying myself, but also this was a lot of work, appreciate it. Then we're just gonna go in with a nude eyeliner and just go along the waterline real quick. Then once again, we're gonna take a drug lord and this time just use it as mascara. So I'm um, not really sure how I'm gonna go about doing this, but I think I'm just gonna like coat this brush and kind of hope for the best. I mean, that's what I normally do, so. That should be my motto, coat this brush and hope for the best. Can you imagine if an airplane had this, that motto? Get on board and hope for the best. <laughs> um, oh dear. <laughs> And that is our eyes done. So I'm just gonna quickly contour off camera quickly. Like I said before, all products will be down below and we're gonna move on to highlight. Okay, so I used Frostbite in the foundation. So I think it's only fair to use Frozen Peach as my regular highlight, which is just like this really nice sort of like, I wanna say a muted pink kind of color. It's, it's really sweet, but I don't wanna go in with much. I'm like sort of scared to go in with a lot because sometimes these, uh, liquid highlights can actually strip your foundation and I don't want that to happen. So as you can see I've put some on the back of my hand here and we're going in with a fan brush. I'm just gonna see what happens. Okay definitely the fan brush was not a good idea so I'm just gonna place this down and find a different brush. So I have this brush and we're just gonna use this to blend everything out. Sort of go in swirling motions and Yep, exactly what I thought would happen is happening. It is stripping our foundation. So I'm going to fix that real quick and I will be right back. So because I can't use it on my face, I will swatch it down my wrist for you real quick. Very blinding highlight that would have been fantastic on the body or if I didn't wear foundation, it would be equally good. So instead of the liquid frost, we're gonna go in with princess cut and just swirl around a Morphe M510 and just do our cheekbones. I also like to do the chin and the nose bridge. Maybe even a little bit up here. But really, I don't need that much up here because up here we've got a lot from 
the foundation anyway, and the same with the chin. Nose bridge and cheekbones, I feel like, needed a bit of extra help because obviously they got powdered to hell and back. So for lips, I was stuck between two colors, either birthday suit or Birkin suede. So birthday suit is this nice, really neutral color. It sort of is very close to my actual lip color. I use this when I don't want people to know I'm wearing lipstick and I'm feeling like extra special that day. And then Birkin suede is my go-to cosplay color. Like if you've seen me at a convention, I'm probably wearing this color. It's sort of like, it basically matches my summertime skin tone. So I think I'm gonna go in with birthday suit. And if I don't like that, I'll take it off and I'll put on Birkin suede. So I'm not really feeling birthday suit. I've tried lightening up with a bit of foundation, not really feeling it. So we're gonna go in with Birkin suede. Yeah, this is a lot better. For setting spray, you guys know where it's at. We're gonna go in with some Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This stuff is legendary. You only ever need this stuff. And so now I'm gonna style my hair and then we'll get into my final thoughts. So my final thoughts on each product. I adore the Blood Sugar Palette. I adore this palette. I knew I was gonna like it because I love reds. All it had to do is be pigmented and like, honestly, this is gonna be, probably be my go-to palette from now on. Probably wouldn't do this kind of look every time. I just wanted to do something a bit special and experimental for this review. So I definitely can see myself using this palette a lot. As for the liquid frosts, I really liked these. I can see myself sort of mixing it in with my highlighter a lot or mixing it in with my foundation a lot. I just, I really did like these. I don't see myself attempting that putting it over the foundation again. And if I ever find myself being shirtless on camera, I'll definitely make sure to be drenched in that. So I'm not feeling very attacked. <laughs> as for my thoughts on Jeffree Star Cosmetics as a whole, I'm just gonna read for you a quote from Kat Black, who is a trans activist and a Black Lives Matter activist. All right, so this is gonna be a really unpopular thing to say, but I think it's a bit screwy to judge people based on tweets that they've made over a year ago. Hell, even a few months ago. I've been online for a while and a blogger since I was 14. When I was young, I said some hella anti-black things, even joked about being a member of the KKK. That was me over a decade ago and doesn't contradict the anti-racist work I do today. There is an entire thread that she made. I will have links to that down below. But I just wanted to read that bit. So how that applies to my opinion on Jeffree Star, I think he definitely has changed. I think he's very much learned that what he did was wrong and he wants to be better. With that being said, what he said was so shocking and disgusting back in the day, if people choose not to forgive him, I personally wouldn't blame them because obviously what he said was so disgusting that if a person would choose not to forgive someone that would say something like that, it's totally understandable. But that's just my thoughts on this situation. Obviously, all of you guys are entitled to your opinions and I wouldn't expect a single one of you to agree with me one way or the other. But for now, that is it for today. So what did you think about this makeup, this look? Are there any other brands you want to see me review? Please let me know in the comments down below. And also, while you're here, why don't you just like check out this video and maybe subscribe, but also check out this video. I've left it right there. It's so convenient. You are not going anywhere. Let's face it, it's two in the morning and you're eating like, pea chips you know those chips that are made out of peas instead of potato you know what i mean because you're eating them <laughs>